Are you thinking of living in Northwest Arkansas and are wondering what's the difference between living in Rogers versus Bentonville? Now these cities are similar in a lot of ways, but there are pretty important differences as well. This video should cover those. Hi, I'm Eric Eby with the Naturally NWA Home Team and Principal Broker of HomeQuest Realty and welcome to another episode of Naturally NWA. In this video, we're going to explain the major differences between living in Rogers versus living in Bentonville. If you are considering making a move to Northwest Arkansas and debating between Rogers and Bentonville, hopefully this video will help give you a better idea of which is the better fit for you. The first place we're going to start is explaining the difference in lifestyle between the two cities. Now Bentonville is busting at the seams as far as residential and commercial development and there are not many areas of Bentonville that haven't been developed except for in the southwest side out by the airport. On the other hand, Rogers is probably a better fit for someone looking for a little bit more space and slower pace of life. The east side of Rogers, towards Beaver Lake, has more undeveloped land so you get more options for larger parcels of land and more privacy in, from neighbors out there. The southwest side of Rogers blends into Bentonville so it's kind of difficult to know where one stops and the other begins. The area known as Pinnacle Hills is the most commercial development happening than anywhere else in NWA and a lot of the Fortune 500 companies that operate in NWA have moved their offices to this area. Most of the restaurants and shopping in this area are popular national chains, but if you go to the downtown squares of either Rogers or Bentonville, you experience more local restaurants and shopping options. Bentonville loves the arts. Crystal Bridges Museum and The Momentary are two very popular attractions in Bentonville for those who love visual, culinary, and performing arts. If you are interested in outdoorsy activities, Bentonville is now known as the mountain biking capital of the world and has access to hundreds of miles of some of the best mountain biking trails you'll find anywhere in the country. If you're more of a water sports person, Rogers might be a better fit for you. Beaver Lake has all the water sports and fishing and diving that you could want and it's a very beautiful and clean lake to enjoy. Now let's go into real estate and what you can get for the money. Which city has a better bang for your buck because I'm sure you're curious. Now Rogers is pretty much equal to Bentonville in general from a cost of real estate standpoint. There are a few exceptions, but the average three bedroom home in Rogers over the last six months was roughly $346,000 and in Bentonville it was roughly $342,000. The two bedrooms is where we see the biggest difference. A two bedroom in Rogers is roughly $235,000 while in Bentonville it's $335,000. Neither city has had many two bedroom options available in the last six months, less than 30 in each. The reason for the drastic difference between the two is the two bedroom homes in Bentonville were located close to the Bentonville Square, which is one of the most desirable of areas to live in all of Northwest Arkansas. Now if you're looking to rent in the area, you can plan on spending for average three bedroom home in Rogers roughly $1,750 a month, and in Bentonville you're looking at around $2,200 a month. A two bedroom in the same area would run in Rogers would be roughly $1,850 and in Bentonville it's roughly $1,525 a month. A good rule of thumb in pricing is that it gets more expensive if you want to be closer to all the amenities in either city. Alright, so now we're going to talk about the overall location between the two because if you need to be near work you probably have questions or on commutes or travel times. If you are working for Walmart or one of their suppliers, then here's what you need to know. The airport is roughly 20 to 35 minutes from Rogers, depending on if you're in the east or west side. Rogers is very spread out. Now, Bentonville is only about 15 minutes from XNA. Traffic is generally pretty bad in both Rogers and Bentonville because this is where the majority of the 1,200 plus companies that support Walmart's operations are located, so people from all over Northwest Arkansas commute to one of these places every day. Once again, I always like to mention that traffic is a relative thing, so if you're coming from a larger metro area, you would probably trade our traffic for yours any day. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into the differences between living in Rogers and living in Bentonville. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button above. For more information on Northwest Arkansas, check out some of my other videos or visit my website at naturallynwa.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Eby with the Naturally NWA Home Team, the natural choice for your real estate needs.